Okay, now I know. Great. Alright, hello, hello. Hi to all the listeners. Hi to my guests that are in the house. We're gonna introduce them in a few. Um, this is another edition of In the Mix Mondays with myself, Light and Lively. I have um, my Yak Radio brother, guest DJ Lloyd in the house, holding yeah. me down. Say hello to the people, Lloyd. Yeah, yeah. Y'all already know what time it is. DJ Lloyd, hit me on Instagram, DJ Lloyd Three Kings. Here live with Light and Lively on In the Mix, on in the mix Mondays. Ah, he got it right, because everybody always messes up the name. Mm. All right. <laughs> in the Mix Mondays, I got... Um, Black Rose in the house and um, brought to you by um, Great Nation Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Great Nation Entertainment. Okay, so you. now you guys um, don't really know me, so I'll just kind of tell you relax and go with the flow type of thing. It's very laid back here, so you know, just feel at home, right? Yeah. So, um, what I normally do is get into a recap of you know what we did over the weekend so the biggest there's a couple of things over the weekend that happened uh the biggest thing was the mayweather uh pacquiao fight yeah, yeah. um uh, okay did anybody else see that fight yes, yes. Did anybody yes. See that fight? i was yes. late for the fight oh you didn't miss much but uh, <laughs> <laughs> i was told that lawyer you saw the fight yeah i saw the fight you know and i was you know, disappointed. I mean, to be honest with you, it was everything I expected, though, to be real with you. Um, I knew that Mayweather was going to win by decision. <sighs> you know, there was no way he was going to knock out Pacquiao. He's too scared to get close to him. <laughs> That's so, the uh, truth. Okay. Okay. Um, this, this is Vito Ortega, first and foremost. Uh, Great Nation, Black Rose. How's, how's everybody doing? Um, to speak on the Mayweather fight now, I feel like he's, he's, he's a master at his craft. That's what he does. So, like, like he said, he's, like you said, you, you expect that. Yeah. You expect, you expect I'm gonna let you to you talk in another. <laughs> you to expect a, a, a strategic fight. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be boring, yeah, but that's how he fights. That's what he does. We don't like boring fights. This is exactly. Dawn. This is Dawn. <laughs> King Don Darla. <laughs> I mean, Great Nation Entertainment. I mean, the fight was born. It was, man. I'm kind of happy I missed it. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can see why, you know, he's undefeated. You know, exactly. he, he has a lot of strategy, man. He knows how to fight. He knows okay. how to protect himself. Okay, pause. We're going to pause. Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. the only female here, and I just have to rein the men in before y'all go off on the sports. <laughs> um, I am a boxing fan. That's, like, my favorite sport, so Who's I watch up? now. Who's your favorite boxer? <clears throat> Nobody now. Nobody, Nobody now. Nobody now. Um... <laughs> What was the cutie's name with the dimples? What's his name? He was in, um, I forgot his Mo- Mo- Mosley? Was it Mosley? I think it was Mosley. Yes. Sugar I used to Shane, like Sugar Shane. He had like the yeah, fro, like a little fro. Curly hair, yeah. little nice eyes. Yeah, he was good. But he wanted to beat him too. Yeah, well, I don't like I don't I don't like Mayweather. Mayweather um, and the whole fight Shot situation, I just kind of felt like it was set up. Like, they just fought because they knew that they were going to make money because that was not a real fight. Mayweather's always running around the ring. Like, he's trying to run away. Protect yourself at all times, we're good. Yeah. But I'm like Ortega said, he's a, a strategic fighter. Yes, he is. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, people pay how much money to, like, okay, I know he's trying not to get his face messed up, mm-hmm. but I'm saying, though, know, like, you could have actually fought. It wasn't really a fight to me. It was just a lot of running around. And ducking and dodging. I know you're supposed to do that. Right. But anyway, that was some BS. Give anyway. the people a show, basically. That's basically. what she means, ladies and gentlemen. We want to see a show. Yes. And um, okay, let's move on. So <laughs> the other thing I did was um, I attended a pre Mother's Day soiree um, in the city that was organized by um, Poet by Velvet and Sweet Girls. It was a really nice event. I got free henna, as you can see, I'll show you a thing. Uh-huh. Nice. And we got massages, and it was cute. You know, they yeah. had stuff like the little girls, and you know, this stuff face to paintings. face painting, and you get your little mani pedi, just like a mother daughter type of situation. But it was it was really nice, um, something positive. Yeah, so good. we did that, and. Um, I'm gonna give a birthday shout out, early birthday shout out to my girl Mariella. She's in the house. We doing a little pre. <laughs> shout out to you. Pre birthday turn up in the studio for her, and um, I just want to tell her thank you because she does help me out a lot with my, you know, 
business and just we're partners, so um, I appreciate her. So with that being said, um, now there's a little thing that I do. I mean, Lloyd, do you, did you want to um, talk about anything else you did over the weekend? We all watched the fight. That was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah you know, um, I caught previews of the fight. Um, I mean, I didn't really do much. I went to Connecticut to visit some family. You know, okay. hung out with my lady. That's it. Right. Okay. So um, we will get into the whole police situation in a little bit. And um, shout out to Baltimore, man. Shout out to everybody in Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore. Yeah. Um, I didn't necessarily have a topic for the night because I'm interviewing you guys, but we can speak about that because your music kind of reminds me of like the struggle yeah <laughs> so yeah. um you know we'll get more into that yeah. now there's this little thing that i do which um for the new listeners i'll explain i have a thing where i like to set it off and basically what that is um is when people do things that kind of irk my nerves, or if I see something that I don't like, I just have to set it off moment on the way here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we get into that, and um, you know, I'll go first, and then you get the gist. Right. And, yes, yeah, and then I have my team music. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to put on your send off music. Okay. So, um, you know, throughout the, the weeks and the days or whatever, sometimes, um, you know, things happen. And I make little notes. And I forgot what I was watching, but I want to get on the subject of tattoos. Mm, okay. Um, I have a couple. Okay, I'm not saying not to get a tattoo. But what I don't really like is the boyfriend girlfriend name tattooed on the body. I don't the, like the that. The jinx. You don't like the jinx. Yeah. I mean, I see people. I mean, you know, they have these shows as far as like getting covered up and all. like why I go through all that. Just don't do it. Right. If it's not, if the person's not dead, I'm sorry. If it's not dead. And if it's not your parent or family or whatever the case makes no sense I don't think it's a good idea because right. now you know you with the next person and they got to see the name of the old person yeah, that you was with not a good idea not yeah. not really a good idea <laughs> I, I don't think it's a good idea I disagree too like I don't think people should be doing that you know because personally they said it's a jinx if something's gonna you know Jinx my relationship or put my relationship in jeopardy, I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. so, you know. I don't know if I guess they, I, I mean, I haven't really heard about the jinx, but it's just so you stupid never heard of two people that have they, you know, get each other names, had on each other, and they split up. Really? You I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a jinx, but it happens all the time. It's just, it's just, you know, it's gonna happen. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's necessarily gonna happen to everybody, but like I said, if you're not dead, then you don't need to be putting nobody's name all over your body if it's not like your children yeah it, it's not a good idea that's just something that i had to um what kind of tattoos you have if you don't mind me asking um one two technically technically three but it looks like two because i combined okay, okay. them so maybe you know maybe i'll show you off it maybe <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 where are they? We'll talk about that later. So, um, yeah, so the next put day... Put in the hot seat. That's, yeah, I'm not used to people putting me in the hot seat. Wait a minute, what's going on? So, um, the next thing, Lloyd kind of witnessed me having a set it off moment on the way here because I was trying to go through the drive through and the damn bus was just parked up, blocking a drive through I'm like, okay, the same rule applies to everybody. I'm hungry, yeah. all right, I need something to eat. You need to move the damn bus out of the way. Yeah. Just inch up a little bit so I have to go over like the curb right. to get through. Right. And I really wanted Dang to get drops. out the car, mm -hmm. but I didn't have time because I was trying to get here mm -hmm. and slap whoever was, you know, <laughs> driving the bus, but I didn't have time to do that. So otherwise, you know, I would You know what, people, I, I definitely agree with her. <laughs> I can't stand a terrible driver. <laughs> you know? And he was parked. It wasn't and, even and a person that doesn't drive for everyone else, uh, everyone else, and just drives for himself. Mm -hmm. People, let's drive for each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, it's called offensive driving. I take that, you know, every, everything that happens, I always take it as a sign from God. So it's like, damn, this, this, this is blocking the drive-through. I'm not supposed to eat from here right now. Because it, you know. <laughs> so it could be wrong with food. True, it's very true. Not, you could probably, God probably saved you from food poisoning. Mm -hmm. You don't even know. It. Your yeah. signs come in all shapes and sizes. Colors. You know, it's the voice of reason. <laughs> Maybe, but you know, when you're hungry. Well, see, y'all don't know when I'm hungry. It's not you. Know, I have to be in the right mind to deal with you guys. <laughs> so I have to have something in my system. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's about it as far as my set it off. Um, Lloyd, you got one? Yeah, I'm about to set it off, right? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna set it off. I want to set it off on people who, you know, you ever just cruising, right? It's like another traffic one. You just cruising, right? You doing like you just you banging at like 60, 70. You good, man. And then somebody just comes and just cuts you off and it just slows down and just messes oh, up your man, whole vibe. <laughs> Yo, I can't stand it. There's no cars in front of me. There's no cars behind me. You couldn't wait until I passed you to come out. You had to come out right in front of me and then slow down and mess up my whole uh, flow. Yeah, Yo, I've been man. There. I was beefing. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about movies because you know, I might mm, we'll be here all day. Oh, I got a little bit of that. A little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a lot of bit, if that's a word. Uh, I make up my own words, so it's all good. Yeah, all the time. Anyway, that will be it for the set it off. Unless anybody else wants to chime in. I know, I got to set it off. You got to set it off. Yeah. Okay. Set it off. I don't like when you know my ex girlfriend goes through my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and she likes some of my pictures and she's not even following me, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, yo, why, why are you doing all this? Uh -uh, like, so, so she I, just wanted you to know that she's Yeah, she's, she got her eyes on me. She's she's creepy. Creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I hate that. So I hope you listen to yeah, She in the bushes. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she in the bushes. <laughs> Stop that. Lurking. Yeah, I mean, at get your life, girl, get your life. <laughs> okay, so, hmm, that's a good one. I don't. Anyway, we're not talking about me. But anyway, so. All right, now, um, okay, I know the listeners, again, I'm, I'm just gonna repeat, I have artist Black Rose in the house. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Great we are nation. going to, yes, Great Nation Entertainment. Um, in a minute, well, we're gonna get into a little bit more music, um, and then when we come back, we're going to talk about your music. I'll let you introduce yourselves to the listeners, and also the phone the number. World. The phone number to call in is 877-760-1422. Call up. Okay, call up after. <laughs> not right this second, because I'm not going to answer the phone. But when we get into the interview, if you want to chime in on the set it off or anything we've said so far, uh, feel free. Again, the number is 877-760-1422. Um, Mr. DJ. You're tuned into, tuned into, in the 